Follow the rules. Don't question the system. Don't let your daydreams distract you from your goals. Don't let your imagination get the best of you. The ones who keep their eyes on the prize are the ones who win. So we're often told. However, the greatest innovators might disagree. What if I told you that one of the biggest scientific revolutions in history didn't start with a laboratory experiment, nor with a complex equation, or even a scientific theory, but with a daydream? Just a teenager, lying in a field, asking himself one wild question. What would I see if I rode on a beam of light? Let's time travel real quick. Switzerland, 1894. There's this 15-year-old kid sitting in class. His teachers think he's difficult. His classmates find him weird. Why? Because while everyone else is memorizing facts and following rules, this kid keeps asking questions that make people uncomfortable. Why can't we see light moving? What if space and time aren't what we think they are? What if everything we know about the universe is wrong? Sound familiar? Maybe you've been there. That moment when your brain goes somewhere completely different from everyone else's, and you're not sure if that makes you brilliant or just weird. That kid was Albert Einstein. And those weird questions, they were about to flip the entire universe on its head. Here's what made Einstein different. While most people thought in words and numbers, Einstein's brain was basically running a 24-7 IMAX theater. When you and I see E equals MC squared, we see a formula. When Einstein saw it, he saw light beams racing through space, time stretching like rubber bands, energy and matter dancing and transforming. It's like having an infinite budget special effects studio in your head. Okay, let's try Einstein's most famous daydream together. Close your eyes. Actually, don't. Keep watching. But imagine this. You're floating in space. In front of you, there's a beam of light. Not just any light, the fastest thing in the universe. It's moving at 186,282 miles per second. Now imagine you start moving faster and faster, getting closer to that light beam. According to everything scientists believed back then, you should eventually catch up to it, right? But Einstein's brain showed him something impossible. The light beam wouldn't appear to slow down. Instead, time itself would change. It's like being in a viral video where everything around you goes into slow motion, but the light, it keeps moving at exactly the same speed. Now, in 1905, Einstein dropped five papers that basically said, hey universe, your rules need an update. But here's the thing, he didn't get there by being the best at math, he wasn't. Or by having the most expensive lab equipment, he didn't. Or by following what everyone else was doing, definitely not. When traditional scientists thought, we need more precise measurements. Einstein said, we need better imagination. When traditional scientists told, look at the numbers, Einstein replied, look at the pictures in your mind. When they said, follow the rules, Einstein stated, question everything. Let me show you how Einstein's visual thinking changed everything we know about time. Imagine you're standing on a train platform. You've got your phone out, making a TikTok, because why not? A train zooms by at near light speed. Stick with me here. According to Einstein's mind movies, something impossible happens. For you on the platform, time moves normally. But for someone on that train, time slows down. And we're not talking about feeling like time is moving slow. Like when you're waiting for your crush to text back. We're talking about time literally moving at different speeds. This isn't just some cool theory. Your GPS. It has to account for this time difference, or it would be off by miles. Those satellites up there experience time differently than we do down here. Wild, right? Einstein saw all of this, in his head, before we had any way to prove it. But Einstein wasn't done breaking reality. His visual thinking led to an even bigger revelation. Space and time aren't separate things. They're more like a duet. They're always performing together. Think of space-time like a dynamic, cosmic dance floor. When a massive object, like a star or a black hole, enters the scene, it's like a heavy dancer jumping onto the floor. The fabric of space-time bends and warps around it, creating a gravitational pull that affects everything nearby. Imagine you're lying on a trampoline, and you place a heavy bowling ball in the middle. The trampoline's surface will warp and curve, right? That's similar to what massive objects do to space-time. They create a gravitational well that affects the motion of other objects, including light. 
This isn't just some abstract concept, it's the underlying reality that governs our universe, and you're experiencing it every day, even if you don't realize it. Every time you check your GPS, you're relying on satellites that are affected by the curvature of space-time. Look at photos of black holes. You're seeing the warping of space-time around these cosmic monsters. Watch sci-fi movies about time travel. You're witnessing the consequences of space-time manipulation. Einstein's visual thinking may have seemed like science fiction back in his day, but it's now the foundation of our modern understanding of the universe. And it's a reminder that the most powerful ideas often come from thinking outside the box, or in this case, outside the fabric of space-time itself. Yee, here's where it gets personal. Einstein's story isn't just about physics, it's about the power of thinking differently. Meet Sarah, a 17-year-old game developer. I always saw code as colors and shapes. Everyone told me I was doing it wrong until I created my first viral game. Meet Marcus, who is a 22-year-old artist. I've always seen music as architecture in motion. It's like my brain is constantly building and rebuilding these intricate musical landscapes. When I create animations, I'm just translating what I see in my mind into visual form. The truth is, your brain's weird way of understanding things. That's not a bug, it's a feature. Maybe you see music in colors, understand math through patterns, learn history by imagining yourself there, solve problems by turning them into stories. Every time someone calls your thinking different, remember, different thinking gave us the theory of relativity, modern space exploration, a new understanding of the universe, and yeah, even the technology you're watching this on. Einstein's legacy isn't just his theories, it's the proof that being different isn't just okay, it's revolutionary. Every time you look up at the stars, remember, the universe's biggest secrets weren't unlocked by someone following the rules. They were discovered by someone who dared to see things differently. Don't hide your different thinking. Document it. Share with us and the people around you. How you visualize problems, the connections only you can see. The way your mind transforms information, your unique way of understanding the world. Remember, different thinking isn't wrong thinking, it's revolutionary thinking. In the next episode, we're diving into Nikola Tesla's mind, the guy who could build entire machines in his head, test them mentally and know exactly how they'd work in real life.